The Victorian Premier has announced new plans to attract international students to Melbourne. That's following his controversial trip to China. Let's go live now to Holly Edwards-Smith in Melbourne. So, Holly, good afternoon to you. What did the Premier announce today? Jamie, good morning. Well, Daniel Andrews is back on home soil after a week-long trip in China. Now, this has been quite a contentious trip. It was really only a short period of time between this visit being announced and before the Premier left, and Australian media weren't invited. But we'll get to that in a moment. Today, in his first press conference since returning, Daniel Andrews announced a number of working groups that have been established in China, as well as in Sichuan, which is one of Victoria's sister states, in order to try and attract more international students to Melbourne. He says he wants this to be the destination of choice for Chinese international students, particularly those who are doing postgraduate degrees in the coming years. International students currently add about $14 billion to Victoria's economy, and that's something that the Premier wants to continue continue working on. Of course, his decision not to invite Australian media was also a topic of discussion today. It actually ended in the Premier having to say, I think we're going to go round in circles and leave this one here. But he was adamant that he made the right choice. Yes, I stand by the trip. It was a very important opportunity to engage with partners, both long-standing partners, uh, but also some newer friends in terms of uh, Sichuan province. Um, I stand by each of the trips I've made overseas uh, during my time as leader of my party and leader of our state. So, Janie, the Premier's response here uh, as to why he didn't invite media as well as the quite broad and vague media release about these working groups today has led the Victorian opposition leader, John Pesuto, to hit out at the Premier. He says that this trip has been shrouded in secrecy and that the Premier needs to explain himself. In fact, he'll be pushing forward for a parliamentary inquiry into just went on, uh, to exactly what went on, rather, in these meetings while the Premier was away and who was responsible for his decision not to invite media. All he's got to show for his trip to China this week is the establishment of three working groups. Many questions still remain about this trip and we intend to pursue them. There's also been some dialogue about what topics were discussed while the Premier was away. Daniel Andrews says he wanted to focus on Victoria-specific issues, so he did confirm today that he didn't touch on Australian journalist Shang Li, who has been detained in China since 2020. He also didn't talk about various trade arrangements in relation to beef and dairy, but he also uh, didn't discuss the AUKUS agreements while he was away. I'm a sub-sovereign leader of a government of a state. If I meet with my equivalent in another sub-sovereign province, we're not talking about foreign policy. We're not talking about defence policy. So, Janie, there's still uh, some information that will likely come about uh, the Premier's trip to China and, of course, the Liberal Party will be pushing with this parliamentary inquiry. So, certainly uh, not finished finding out exactly what went on while Premier Daniel Andrews was away last week.